Hey, I'm Destiny. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because my channel is about building our businesses, having multiple side hustles, and also self-care. And as you can tell by the thumbnail today, I am showing you how I set up my vendor table for my hair business and my wig business. So I'm going to be showing you each part of it, letting you know where I got it from. So stay tuned. So this is how my vendor table looks when you first walk through the door. And the first thing I want to point out is the fitted tablecloth. I have an all black one that fits a 6x6 table and I purchased that from Amazon. And I'm going to drop the link to everything below. And that tablecloth cost me, I believe it was $10 to $15. And to the left, I have my retractable banner, and that is a 32 by 80 inch banner. And I had it designed by Rose Gold Media Etsy, and I had it printed out at FedEx. And I had to have mine printed out at FedEx because I did mine last minute, and they offered a next day service for $150. But you can also get it a lot cheaper if you plan ahead of time. And I'm also going to post some sites in the comment section below. And you want to keep your retractable banner very simple. Just have you can have a good image, your logo, how they can contact you, and your social media handles. And right behind my table, I have my step and repeat backdrop. And this just gives your table an extra pop. Mine's is an 8x8 eight eight foot made out of heavy duty vinyl, and it's also fireproof. I purchased this from the stickersbanners.com website and at the time of purchase it was $98 and I haven't done a recent price check on it so I'm going to drop that in the comment section below if there was a price increase. And moving on to the table I do have these cute mannequin heads that I put my wigs on and these can be purchased from amazon.com. They are the L7 model and they do have a few different colors and a few different face shapes that you can choose from but this is the most common one and also if you're extra fancy you can apply makeup to them to give them a unique look and I purchased these for $65. And next I have is my hair hook displays and those displays were actually for tote bags but you can also use them for hair displays and I got those from displays to go.com and they were $26 a piece and since I have three different hair textures I did go ahead and purchase three so I can have them on display whenever I'm at a vendor event. And you can go to their website to check out the different base models that they have because what I have is square and they also have the round ones. And they also have a lot of different other display things that you can have either for your vendor setup or your store. So I highly recommend them as well. And the last thing I have on my table is my business cards. So you want to keep them simple and something that they can remember you by. So I always have a picture of me. It has my name that I'm the owner, my phone number, my email address, and my website. And it's also my brand color so they'll know exactly where they saw me at. And another thing I like to do is anytime I'm at a vendor event, I'll have a special code on the back just to give them a little bit more motivation to purchase. And it'll actually have a special code for them on the back. So that way when I'm doing my numbers, it'll let me know exactly where they came from. So before I end this video, I do want to show you what my full vendor setup looks like all together. And one thing I didn't mention in the video yet was that I do have little diamond rhinestone thingies that you can get from your local craft store like Joann's Fabrics or Michael's. And I also have a logo tablecloth, which is the white runner that you see in this picture here. And I got that from Banner Buzz, which is like $27. And I also have flyers and a blown up price list. And this picture was actually taken from my first vendor event. Thank you so much for watching my video today and if you have any comments leave them in the comment section below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for the next one thank you